God. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Once again, once again, we thank God in the name of Jesus for what he's doing in this season. And we're so glad to be able to be on tonight. Lord, placed on my heart many times during our Sunday school, we have our lesson and we teach us out of this book here, which is the, um, the Union Gospel Press. I know many churches use this particular book and we are in our Bible expository book that I'm using as a, as a trainer the winter quarter December 2022 through February 2023 and the good thing is we're going to kind of do a preview a little review I uh, like doing this on Wednesday night trying to get into some of the uh, related scriptures and hopefully this this video on tonight we decide to record will help those who are preparing for their lesson that's coming up um, this coming Sunday. So with that said, we're gonna jump right into the lesson of Max Sister Estelle to help out and read. So we're just gonna go through it as we would normally do, amen? All right, so uh, what's our lesson number? Lesson 10. All right, lesson number 10. And any, any significance with that 10? 10 commandments. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. We had a number 10, 10. She said the 10 commandments. That's good. Amen. Mm -hmm. How about the date? What lesson is this going to cover? February 5th, 2023. Amen. And the topic? Blessings amid trials. Amen. Blessings amid trials and lesson text the scripture. James 1, 1 through 8 and 12 through 18. Amen. And related scriptures. Matthews 4, 1 through 11, 5, 12, 10 through 12, 1 Peter 1, 3 through 9, mm -hmm. 3, 13 through 18, and Revelation 2, 8 through 11. Amen. Uh, time of the lesson. About 8045. 8045. In place? Jerusalem. From Jerusalem. All right. Golden text. Let's read it together. Blessed, Blessed is, is the man, man that, that endures temptations. Temptation. For when, For when he is tried, he, he shall what, receive the crown of life, which, which the Lord hath promised to them, them that, love that love him. James, James 1 and 12. and 12. Amen. How many outlines do we have in this lesson today? Three. And the three outlines? Praying for wisdom, James 1, 1 through 8. Mm -hmm. Persevering in trial, James 1, 12 through 15. And perfect gifts from above, James 1, 16 through 18. Amen. So blessings amid and trials. So what are we saying with this word? Just start out the, the topic, this word amid. Admit is why you're going through. In Amen. In the middle of your trials and tribulations, you still will receive blessings. Amen. So the author of this, this lesson, you know, this is actually preaching, you know, material. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Hallelujah>. <laughs> blessings in the mid, amid. In the midst of, amen, mm -hmm. of your trial. So basically it's saying that we can be blessed while we're going amen. through our situation. Amen. <laughs> Isn't that good news? Amen. Amen. Why are you, some people are like, well, how, Pastor, how, how can I be blessed while I'm going through? Amen. But in, tonight we're going to talk about how, that you, how, you, how blessed you really are huh. in the midst of whatever you're going through, whatever trial, whatever situation you're going through. You can still count it all joy. Amen. Amen. Give God some praise. Amen. We still can count it all joy. Amen. No matter what you're going through. So let's jump into the lesson. We're going to um, read James 1 and 1, and we might um, go into some of the related scriptures. So Sister Esther, can you read James 1 and 1? Okay. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad, greeting Amen. So we first of all we know who we're speaking. Amen. Who's 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 greeting? Amen. Yeah. James. Amen. Amen. And being the servant of God. Amen. And to the twelve tribes, you know, at this point during this particular time, uh, AD forty five, how the tribes, everything was scattered. So nine out of ten, he's talking not only to the Jews, but also the Gentiles. Amen. 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 To believers. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the next verse here, it says in verse 2, My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall 
but to divers temptations. And brethren, we know we're talking male, female. Uh -huh. We're talking to the body of Christ. Amen. Amen. Count it all joy. Mm -hmm. Um, I, are we saying some things, you know, the, the good and the bad? I, I mean, all joy. Yeah. What are we counting? Everything. Everything. Amen. Yeah, man. All joy when you fall to divers temptations. Mm -hmm. What do we mean by this? Divers. Many different. And different ones. Mm -hmm. In temptations, someone might think, are we talking about the temptations from, <laughs> you know, God or what, what type of you know, does God tempt you with evil? No. We're going to find out that God does not tempt with evil. Amen. 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 But a trial, even while you're going through, it could be um, a test of your faith. Amen. Right. And a lot of times, especially you going through, sometimes it's our own problem. Some things, sin or things that we've gotten ourselves in because of our behavior. Amen. Amen. And of Satan. Satan also has a way of attacking us. Amen. So in here, but no matter what you're going through, count it joy. Not meaning that you're going to have joy. I don't know too many people who say, you know, well, you know, I'm going to have joy. You know, there ain't no, nothing joy being broke. Amen. No, it's not. Amen. Ain't no, nothing joy of, um, you know, going through uh, situations in a home or a child's place to joy. Is when what God's going to do when He brings you out. Amen. And that's the joy, and that kind of joy you can praise Him for what He's going to do. Amen. That's right. Amen. Sometimes our best praise that we get is sometimes what we're going through. Amen. Amen. So yeah, most definitely that kind of joy. All right, read number three. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. The trying of your faith worketh patience. The word trying here is the test. Mm -hmm. Amen. Every day where our, our faith is being tested. It sure is. Amen. 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 We just got through going through some uh, a, a test not too long ago. Yeah. I believe COVID-19 was a test. Amen. I really do. And it's testing people right now today. You see how faithful you can be in trusting in the Lord Amen. To keep you and protect you from all hurt, harm, and danger. Amen. You know, Pastor, you mean, you know, I don't need to wash my hands. Now wash your hands. <laughs> wash your hands. Take care of yourself. You want to wear your mask, wear your mask. Amen. But get back in church. Amen. Amen. Get back in your relationship with God. That's right. Take care of yourself just like you would anywhere else. Amen. It's a we gotta understand that these things come. Amen. We always, I mean, it's like, you know, studying for a test. You got to prepare. You got to have faith. Amen. Amen. You got to have faith. That's right. Because things going to come. You're going to have issues um, in your home. You're going to have situations that's going to flow up. God wants to know, can you trust me mm. even in the midst of? Come on now. Amen. 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 Some of us proceed to uh, fail that test tremendously. Yes. Amen. But it, it, you got to grow stronger in this area Amen. of faith. Amen. Amen. Knowing, you got to know that this is what this is. Wow. When you see these things happen, you examine your life, say, you know what? I'm doing my best. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to be the best Christian that I can be. Mm -hmm. And you got to be able to stand in it. Amen. Amen. Because we're going to get all kind of different situations. That's right. But can you stand? Amen. Read number four. But let patience have her perfect work that you may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Amen. Patience. Hmm. And that's what we need to pray for. Amen. Yes. Amen. Got to have patience and have her perfect work hmm. that you may be what? Perfect. Hmm. Are, 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 do this perfect mean you're not going to make mistakes? You're not. No. What, what really? makes us perfect? Only Jesus Christ. And only in Christ. That's right. He completes us. Amen. Amen. He's the only one who can make you perfect. That's right. Amen. By, by far, as long as we hear, amen, we were shaped in iniquity. Hmm. Sin is all the way around us. Mm -hmm. Amen. But God give us a, 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 a scapegoat, and that, and that is Christ Jesus. Hey, amen. Only through Christ Jesus, amen, that we can be uh, forgiven of our sins. Mm -hmm. Amen. Only through Christ Jesus, what he did on the cross, for he died on the cross 
for our sins. That's right. That we've been bought with a price. Hey, man. But we got to walk in Christ that's to right. understand that we've been redeemed. Amen. That's right. And that's only through Christ Jesus. All right. Can you read five? If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that give it to all men liberally and abradeth not, and it shall be given him. Amen. So what do we mean by wisdom? What kind of, when we say wisdom, is knowledge mm -hmm. and uh, wisdom, because some people intertwine those two, knowledge and wisdom. What are we saying here? Is that the wisdom that only God can give? The, not like this worldly wisdom, but the, that spiritual wisdom. Um, giving you like a discernment of different things, I, I would say. Amen. Amen. So knowledge is is key. Knowing. Amen. Mm -hmm. People have the zeal of God, but not according to what? Knowledge. Knowledge. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can gain knowledge is through what? You got to come and be taught. Amen. That's why on Wednesday nights we tell the members come out so that you can gain knowledge. Knowledge is power. Yes, it is. Amen. Mm -hmm. You cannot know the way if you don't study the way. That's right. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> you got to come and be taught. Amen. Just like a baby need milk and Similac <laughs> and yeah. all of that, you got to come and be fed the word of God. If you don't come and be fed, you're not going to grow knowledgeable of him. Amen. You're not going to grow spiritually if you don't come out and be fed. That's right. So we definitely got to have the knowledge, the knowledge of God. But what's the difference between having the knowledge and wisdom? Wisdom takes that knowledge and show you how to respond to life-giving situations. Amen. Amen. For example, I can have a knowledge on how to get a car, hmm. but wisdom t teaches me how to keep the car. All right. Amen. Amen. Wisdom is the behavior. Amen. Okay. Oh, I can have a whole lot of knowledge on how to do many things, but if I don't have that wisdom that comes from God on how to react and how to respond, what good is me to know this entire Bible? Oh, I can. I know the book. I know the script. I know this. But if you can't apply it, and when it's time for you to, you know, put it to application mm -hmm. so that can work, I mean, what good is it me knowing the Bible from Genesis to Exodus? I mean, you know, from Genesis to Revelation, and I don't know how to apply when things can come up in my life. Amen. So wisdom teaches us on how to put it in action. Okay. Amen. So he says, ask God that to give it to all men. So wait a minute. Hmm. Does wisdom come from the school books? Not the kind of godly wisdom, no. In the regular, no. It says right here, Wisdom, let him ask God. Mm -hmm. So wisdom, that tells me right now, in order for me to grow wise, I, I, I need to see God. I need to pray for it, right? Yeah. I need to pray for wisdom. Amen. I need to pray for wisdom because when I'm going through my trials and tribulation, wisdom is going to tell me how to, to um, handle those things. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. You know, these trials and things come, come up not to you know, to destroy us, but it basically, you know, is to make us stronger. Amen. It's, it develops us. Amen. That's right. We're going to look into that. Next uh, verse of scripture. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. My Lord. Mm. But let him ask in what? In faith. Faith. Ooh, that's deep. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. In faith, mm -hmm. you got to believe. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you're going through your trials, you, when you're going through your situation, you got to say, Lord, you know, I have believe. I have faith. I, I, I can get through these things. You got to believe. You got to have faith in order for the wisdom to work. Amen. 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 What good is have knowledge? You say you got wisdom, but you got to believe in order that God can give it to you. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. It comes from above. You got to have faith. You can't be wishy-washy mm -hmm. when it comes down to God. Come Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can't, you know, just be all, what it says here, you can't um, be wavering. Right. 
you know, like, you know, they like the sea. Uh -huh, up you know down. how the sea, you know, you're in the ship and it's just going up mm -hmm. and down and, you know, you're all over the place. <laughs> Glory to God. When the wind of life come, the storms of life come, you just waving all over. The, you, you, you going to and fro. Don't know which way you're going. Amen. You know, got a bill coming. Oh, Lord. I, I don't know. Oh, Lord. And just lose all faith. God is telling us today that Come you can't be um, wavering. You can't be all over the place. Amen. Ask God without doubt and say, Lord, you know what? Hmm. Increase my faith. Yes, Lord. Mean what you say. Trust in God mm -hmm. and watch what God do. Amen. Gee, you know, I like that right there. It says, nothing wavering. Hmm. For he that wavereth is like what? The wave and the sea. sea. Uh -huh. driven. driven with the wind tossed in the is tossed it to and fro. Ooh, we Lord. supposed to let down our anchor. Come on now. And our anchor got to anchor and wrap around <laughs> the rock. Uh -huh. When the ship, you know, when the captain let down that anchor, when they let it down, it goes down to the bottom of the sea. Uh -huh. And it finds a, a solid rock. Uh -huh. And it wraps around a rock. So when the waves come, hey. and, I, and I just stop by today to tell you that the rock, <laughs> glory to God, come on now. the rock is Jesus. Yes, it is. God, and that's what Ooh, in this lesson today it is one. teaching us that the rock is Jesus. Yes, Lord. Seventh verse. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man. A, a double-minded woman. Mm. A wavering woman, one that's uh, in and out. Yeah. You know, sometimes you believe, sometimes you don't believe. Yeah. You know, you allow your trial, you allow your stuff. You know, to get you down, you you allow your trial to destroy you instead of making you stronger. Mm -hmm. Every trial, every round, we go higher wow. and higher. You know, um, climbing Jacob ladder. Yeah, amen. 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 <laughs> you know that. Remember that song? Yeah. It goes higher. And higher. Amen. You you you're you making your way high. in, but you can't get in if you waver every time a problem comes. Amen. God is teaching us tonight that we got to be strong and realize. That we are truly blessed in the midst of our yes, trials. Praise the Lord. Double minded, look at the eight right hmm. there. The eighth hmm. verse, James 1 and 8. What does it say? A double minded man is unstable in all his ways. You know, you ever met any double minded people? Yeah. What, what, give me an example. So, double minded. Double minded. First, they believe one way, and then, then they get they start doubting, then they go, they like lose faith. And they like up and down. <laughs> my God, yeah. My God. Did, you, have you ever met any double minded people in church? Oh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Amen. And unstable in everything they do. Unstable. One minute. One minute they, <laughs> they they're way. talking out of this side of their neck. The <laughs> next minute, you know, they tell the whole, they switch it up. Yeah. It's almost like a double agent. Right. Amen. One minute, you know, oh, yeah, brother. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, Man, I'm on fire. I, I, it, then the next minute they do us that. Well, you know, brother pastor, you know, I I would if I could. I, you know, uh, just double minded. Right. One minute you're here, the next minute you're not. The next minute now. I'm over here. Next minute I'm faithful to God. I'm in church. Can't beat you getting in here That's to right. get to church. The next minute can't find you. Can't find you two, three, four months. Come on now, my lord. He said you're good for nothing. A double minded person, God cannot use. Amen. You can't be flip flopping. That's right. Make your yes, your yes, and your nays, your nays. Mm -hmm. God is saying today, don't be no flip flop Christian. That's right. That's why the churches are where they are now. People flip flopping. That's it. You don't know you want to be faithful to God or you want to be faithful, you know, to man. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. COVID came, came, pastors now trying to get their people back in church. That's right. Can't get people back in church. Used to be in because they're double minded. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instead of coming out to be talked to, looking at Channel 9, Channel 7 News, and listening to all this, you know, all this fear mongering and all these things, oh, watch out, the boogeyman gonna get you. <laughs> no, we gotta get our life straight. Come on now. Deacons need to get back in church. Praise Urshers need to get back in church. Uh, uh, motherboard need to get back in the motherboard. Yeah. Amen. Am I right about it? Praise the Lord. Glory to God. Amen. Can't be double minded. Hmm. You say if you're a Christian, be a Christian. Come on. Now. If you're a saint, be a saint. Yes. If you ain't, be a ain't. <laughs> God is saying it's time out. That's right. 
being double-minded. Praise the Lord. Unstable. Mm -hmm. I don't know no woman want no unstable man. Mm -mm. No. <laughs> Twelfth verse. Can you read that? Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Yeah, not to temptation for yielding is sin. The temptation within itself is not sin. It's yielding to it. It's what when you give into it. Yeah, yes. It becomes sin. Amen. Amen. I heard Paul say something very similar. Let's go to 2 Timothy 4 7, real quick. 2 Timothy. Four, seven, and eight through eight. What's, uh, what did Paul say? Now here we find Paul speaking to Timothy. Amen. He said, Second Timothy four, seven, and eight. Yeah, telling him to preach the word and mm -hmm. giving him his charge. Yeah, this. So what does it say? I have fought a good fight. Uh -huh. I finished my course. Uh -huh. I have kept the faith. Paul's there. I fought a good fight. Mm -hmm. Paul let them know that it's a fight. Yes, it is. Sure this is. Christian journey is a fight. Oh, yeah. For those who don't believe that tonight, Christian journey is, uh, 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 it's a fight. Amen. And that's the bottom line. Mm -hmm. We're fighting against weapons that are not carnal. Mm -hmm. It says our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through what? Pulling down strongholds. strongholds. Yeah. Amen. Wickedness in high places. Yes. But we got to keep on what? Fighting. Fight. You know, so I'm, saying, I'm on the battlefield, fighting for, the fighting for my Lord. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Promise to my serve, him serve him until I die. Until I die. Mm -hmm. I'm on fighting for my Lord. Amen. Amen. And we're trying to do what to get your what crown? Crown. Amen. Let's keep on reading. Henceforth, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous Judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only but unto all them also that love his appearing. Amen. So back in 7 it says, I finished my course also. Mm -hmm. So it's a race. Amen. Amen. At the end of a fight, you get a belt. Mm -hmm. End of a race, you get a ribbon. Come on now. Amen. But you got to keep your faith. Amen. Amen. In other words, you can't be wavery going back and forth, you know, being that double-minded yeah. or double-tongued person. Right. You got to be faithful unto death. So in a race, amen, you get your a fight, you get your uh, crown. Amen. I mean, in your race, you you know, you get your belt amen. or your uh, ribbon. That's right. But in the end of this, you get a crown. Hey, my Lord. Amen. <laughs> and not only do you get a crown, but the righteous judge, hmm. we know who that is. Jesus Christ. Right? Mm -hmm. Jesus Christ Come on. himself. Yes, yes, Lord. The righteous judge. Come on now. Amen. I know just any and everybody. Uh-uh. Go give you a crown, but the what? The righteous yeah, judge. Yeah, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Go give you glory to God. Hallelujah. The righteous judge, Jesus Christ. Paul is saying, Jesus Christ himself is going to uh, 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 deliver this crown. Come on now. But what is this crown, though? This crown of life, eternal life. That's what the crown is. Amen. Eternal life. You know, that's that never die. That's Amen. That's right. This is what we're living in life for. This is why. Paul's trying to tell us, you know, it's a blessing. And this is the blessing in the midst of your trials, in the midst of your situation. There's a blessing. You're being blessed because we have something that we, we're going to receive. Mm -hmm. Amen. And for a Christian, we're going through this because we're going to receive a crown of glory. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Crown of life. Amen. Amen. And a righteous judge. He said, not only to me. Amen. Not only am I going to get it, huh. not only am I going to oh. receive it, mm -hmm. but also who? Also the love his appearing. The Lord that love his appearance. Mm -hmm. In other words, be faithful until the second coming of Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Until we see Jesus. Amen. The one that's going to crown us. Amen. Amen. Let's go back to our lesson. Amen. This is a blessing tonight. Amen. Amen. It says, let no man say when he's tempted, this is um, James 1.13. You know, in other words, when he's tested, when he's tried, I'm tempted of God. 
For God cannot what? Tempt, be, tempted, be tempted with evil. With evil, neither he what? Tempt he any man. He any man. So what are we saying here? God has no sin. So he will not tempt us with sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. In other words, it's tempted here. We refer it to our sin. Yes. He's not tempting you with sin. Mm -mm. Nine out of ten. Mm. When we look back over the sin, either it's something that we have done mm. or that Satan. You remember um, Job. Amen. All right. Isn't that Job was a righteous? He was yeah. He was after a man of, of God's God heart, God. after yeah. God's own heart. Mm -hmm. Amen. He was a righteous man. Amen. In other, words, he, in other words, he loved the Lord like we do. Amen. Amen. But God allowed. Amen. Satan did the, the tempting. Amen. Amen. He did the, the attacking of the body, allowed all these things to happen. Yeah. But it was a test of his faith. Hmm. Amen. Amen. God does not tempt with sin. That's right. Amen. And that brings us down to one of your related uh, verses of scripture that you should bring out in your book um, on on this coming Sunday, you know, to the, all the teachers such such, <coughs> such as yourself, Sister uh, Estelle. Mm -hmm. This related scripture, Matthew's fourth chapter. Let's look at it real quick. Mm -hmm. The fourth chapter, Matthew's 4, 1 through 11. A lot of times, you know, we don't get a chance to have time to go through all the related scriptures, but right. when you start in the Sunday school lessons, you want to kind of tie in some of these scriptures to help your students understand. Matthews 4, 1 through 11. Mm -hmm. We're going to read a few of these verses and kind of do a synopsis of uh, what, we're, what we're reading here. Mm -hmm. All right. I read 5 4. Chapter 5 4. I'm sorry, chapter 4, oh. verse 1. All right. When um, then was Jesus led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to mm -hmm. be tempted of the devil? Uh huh. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came to him, he said, If thou be the Son of God, command these that these stones be made bread. Amen. So we recall this. The story of how Satan, uh, when Jesus went up to the mountaintop, amen, this mm -hmm. is right after uh, baptism, uh -huh. amen, mm -hmm. been baptized by John the Baptist for 40 days, 49, Jesus went and mm -hmm. um, he fasted, amen, he was amen. fasting and praying, and uh, we know, you know, that, and that's a good thing, amen, mm -hmm. we all should try to, amen, have some time with the Lord, amen, amen, so Jesus often did this uh, in this situation, uh, he's done it in a in a um, garden of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. He's always got away. Amen. Amen. And prayed. That's but right. But here we find him in the mountaintop, and and sometimes Satan try to attacks us at our weakest moment, where he figure our weakest. Yeah. Jesus, knowing having to eaten. Oof. Amen. Um. He's weak. Body probably, you know, mm -hmm. the human side. Right. He's looking at all these things, mm. and that's what Satan does—the same thing to us. Amen. He comes during our weakest moment. Yes, he does. You know, you have problems and situations, and oh. you get to getting all in your ear. You know, that's why I said he gives us power to put down them, the imaginations yeah. through Christ. Amen. Through the Lord. Amen. Mm -hmm. Some strong, some strongholds. Yes. Well, here he is about to try to tempt the Lord. Mm. But then you get in that verse four. What did it say? But he answered and said, "It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God." Amen. Amen. It was letting them know that it is, it is written, man shall not live by what bread, bread, but by the word of God. Amen. 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 Not alone, mm -hmm. but by the word. Amen. That proceeded out of the mouth of God. Mm. And that's why it's so important that we hear what God has to say. Amen. Because when the tempter come, you got to let the book talk to you. Come on now. That's a whole other subject right there. <laughs> you got to let the book talk to you. Amen. Yes, Lord. This book will speak to you. Yes, it God will. God will give you words. Amen. Mm -hmm. When that book will come, amen. God will give you an answer come on. if you want to be, if you want to hear yes, the Lord. answer. Amen. My Lord. Amen. This is Jesus speaking. Mm-hmm. 
Read five. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and setteth him on a pinnacle of the temple. Look at here. Go set him up on a pinnacle. <laughs> top of the temple. Come on now. Amen. The temple that God created. Amen. Mm, Let the man unless he made he said him somewhere where he already <laughs> made. Amen. Come on now. He made the material that it was made of. Nothing made that was made unless Ooh. Jesus made it. Come on now. Glory to God. Praise the Lord. That's what the word says. Mm -hmm. Read the fifth verse. Mm. Read it again. Then the devil. Oh, I'm sorry. Six. And saith unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angel charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up, lest at any time thou shalt dash thy foot against a stone. Look at here. He gonna tell him that you know, you know, you throw yourself down. You know, he God, you know, you are gonna be delivered. And mm -hmm. look how Satan talks, <laughs> Amen. My and this Lord. is the same thing, you know, people committing suicide. You know, yeah. you no, know, go on, go on, you know, go on, kill yourself. You know, it's all right. You know, ain't nothing gonna happen to you. You know, yeah. God, you know, Satan is he's cunning like he's that. Very cunning. He's tricky like that. Come on, and he's now. trying. He go over to God. He'll get in your psychic, in your mind, mm -hmm. and make you start thinking all kind of things. Come on now, yes, he will. People kill themselves just flying out of woman, leave them, they just jumping out of jumping out of the highway because a, a woman kiss you goodbye. <laughs> Not doing. Mm -mm. Not worth it. These things are happening. Oh yeah. Should go and shoot yourself. That's what it says. You know, mm -hmm. all these things, these evil thoughts, evil uh things, all these are trickery. Look look what he did to um, Eve. He he's cunning that way. And that's what exactly in this situation. But what uh, what happened? Read seven. Um, Jesus said unto him, It is written again, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not tempt the Lord God. Amen? Amen. You cannot tempt. And God does not tempt with evil. Mm -mm. And he's telling him, Thou shalt not what? Tempt the Lord Tempt the God. Lord God. Mm -hmm. For it is written, Amen? Amen. That thou shalt not tempt the Lord God. Continue to read. Again, the devil taketh him up uh -huh. into an exceeding high mountain and showeth him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee if thou wilt fall down and worship me. How are you going to give something that <laughs> don't belong to him? My, my Lord. It all belongs to God. Yes, yes, Lord. Don't make no sense, right? Mm -mm. And that's what's that when, when, when trials come in your life. The situation come in your life, you got to say, you know what? It don't fit. It don't make no sense. Mm -hmm. I've been faithful. God has been blessing me. Mm -hmm. When you see that enemy coming, trying to attack mm -hmm. with different avenues, you got to be able to say, you know what? The devil is a lie. Mm -hmm. You got to be able to identify this is of the Satan. Yeah. And I know this is a test of my faith. And I'm going to hang in there. I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to lose my mind. I'm going to stay focused because this is an attack. Yes, that's right. You got to identify it hmm. for what it is. Amen. Amen. Continue. Then said Jesus unto him, get thee hence, Satan, for it mm -hmm. is written, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God and him only shalt thou serve. And once again, huh. he go telling them, once again, the same thing. Yeah. Get away. Get ye behind me. Get get hints. Amen. Leave. Flee from here. Get go go on by your business. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> that's that's what we got to tell. We got to tell Satan. Say, go on by your business. That's go right. on. Go on with yourself. Amen. Amen. That's right. You know you don't want to you know call people Satan and all that. But in your mind, if people you got enemies go attack you, you got to. Go on by your business now. You're going within yourself in your mind. Right. I'm thinking, look at this. You know, today, oh, driving driving here to work, I mean, uh, to church tonight. Mm -hmm. God, I'm trying to get over. I got my blinker on and everything, you know, click, 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 click. I'm looking to the right. I, the guy see me trying to get over because I'm about to miss my exit. Mm -hmm. So I said, I need, oh man, I'm about to let me get on over. So plenty of time for him to let me over. Big old semi truck behind me. And you know, I'm um, click, click, click. The guy scoops up some more. Hmm. He will refuse to allow me to get off. Yeah. I want to get off. The, I'm not trying to get in front of you, mm -hmm. to jump in front of you. 
I'm doing the American thing, the way they say no. we took our license test. They said put the blinker on. Yeah. Out of courtesy, you think the guy let me he, he hit it again. <laughs> then the guy went as far as I mean, it was just like Satan. I could just see Satan all working all in this guy. Oh. He literally was like going out and coming back in like I'll ram you. Wow. That much I said, look at Satan. Yeah, yeah. I just kind of eased on my brakes a little bit. The truck had enough time, you know, to see what I was doing. Uh -huh. I let that guy just go straight ahead. Right. Say, Satan, you are alive. Amen. Amen. And I went on over and by my business, got off the freeway. Amen. But Satan will try to tempt you. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. To get you acting all out of, out, all out of. How would that look on Channel 7? Pastor and stuff, the pastor, the first ever in the Baptist church, <laughs> you know, got, got into a... Um, a ramming thing, you know, <laughs> like we um, bumper cars or something <laughs> on, on, the, on the freeway. Uh -huh. Right. Two men just lost their mind going, hitting each other in a car and, and, and caused 20 other cars. Yeah. To, how would that have... None but Satan. Yes, that's Recognize right. the work of the enemy. Yes, Lord. Then recognize if it's a test. Amen. Amen. That's where that wisdom kick in at. Lord, help us. I can know all this book, but a lot of that situation... Make me lose all my religion. Yeah. God is saying, recognize the test. Amen. Understand, use your wisdom. Mm -hmm. Don't just uh, talk about it, but be about it. Amen. Amen. So that's what God is teaching us tonight. Praise the Lord. Let us go back into the lesson. Mm -hmm. Let's go back to James 1. What verse did we leave off on? Uh, was it the 13? We left off on 13. Oh, we need to 13. go 14. We need to read 14, I believe. Go ahead. Okay, but every man is tempted. When he is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. What? Every man is what? Yeah. Tempted. Tempted. He's drawn Look at away the trial. Tempted. Lust. Talking about sin now. Uh huh. When he's done what? Drawn, drawn away, away of his, of his what? own lust. His own Flesh. Desires. Uh huh. His own lust and enticed. That's right. You know, you're walking in the flesh. The Bible teaches don't walk after the flesh, but walk after the spirit. The spirit. Amen. But if you walk after flesh, you're going to go after fleshy stuff. Amen. You're going to lust fleshy stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, the fleshy appetite. That's right. Those things are the world. And that is those things that go to contrary to the word of God. Amen. Sin. That's sin is sin, sin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Walking after the what? The, 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 the enticing after the lust. That's sin. His own lust and enticed. Enticed. Mm -hmm. Those are things that entices you. You know, thrills you. You know, mm -hmm. you get excited. Yeah. You know, you have an appetite for it sin. Draws your attention. Uh huh. When you when you start lusting after that, that and that's what it's saying. And when you when, so when you're tempted, I don't care what it could be a woman, it could be a man, it could be what, uh, uh, whatever it is. Amen. Amen. It could be a day just hanging out with your friends. No, you should be in church on Sunday. Oh, come on now. Girl, girl, what you got? You got tickets to what? You got tickets. Oh, to <laughs> what? Oh, yeah, girl, yeah, you know, I you know, I'm gonna I, hey. <laughs> don't you don't you go to church? Don't you sing in the choir? The choir can wait, girl. I'm gonna I'm going I'd rather do this. <laughs> Hanging out all night. Come on now. Tempted. Mm hmm You know where you should be. That's right. There was something happy, like, oh, I should have went to check. Oh, I, I should have followed by. Yeah. We bring about a lot of this stuff on ourselves when we give into the lust of the world. Amen. Drug addiction. All that stuff. Yes. The worldly stuff. Hmm. Men, look at that men. And women, look at all that. that that's not of God. Amen. That's the lust of the world. Yes, Lord. And nobody, no Christian be enticed. Mm. Hmm. All right. To evil. Amen. Let us read again. No more. We're almost done. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. So you see how that works? Yep. It starts, it starts with the message. Mm -hmm. The temptation. Go from temptation, like that Simple song, life. yield not to temptation. Amen. Amen. The lust, you desire it, you give in to it, mm -hmm. then it becomes what? Sin. Sin, yeah. And when it's now sin, you have sinned. 
in the midst of all that. But that's exactly the stages of this. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Then when it, it let's have conceived, mm -hmm. you give into it, mm -hmm. bring forth to sin. Amen. And once you sin, bring what forth, does it do? Bring forth when it death. is finished, it brings forth death. Amen. Wages of sin is what? Death. Death. But the mm -hmm. gift of God is what? Eternal life. It's eternal life. That's why we had the law and Jesus had to come to fulfill it. Hey, yes, sir. hey, glory amen, to God. Amen. Our lily in the valley, our, <laughs> hey, glory to God. Amen. Our everything. That's right. Had to come and say, you know what? Ooh. Somebody has to die and have to, you know, shed blood. Amen. Amen. And 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 deliver these people. Amen. And have grace and, and deliver them from the, 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 their sins. Amen. The only one could have done it is Jesus Christ. That's right. Under the law, I've said many times you can keep every, you can keep every iota, everything mm -hmm. in this book, every i of all the laws and Exodus, all the Ten Commandments, all that, and still die and go to hell. Amen. And the reason why is because the law cannot save you. That's right. The law, as it states here, it will lead you to death. Mm -hmm. But you, because it's impossible. Wow. All have sinned. Oh, and falling right. short of the glory of God. All have sinned. That's right. Me, you, yes. everyone else, those who are it all have sinned. Come on now. And if you have sinned, amen, you're going to need mercy. Yes. yes and the only yes. way you're going to get mercy Ooh. is through somebody who died. Come on now. Amen. The one who has no sin. Come on. Could not sin. Yes, Lord. Talk about the glory of God. God. Talk about Jesus Christ. That's right. He's the only one. Hmm. The Bible said God gave him the power to forgive sin. He has power over life and power over death. Yes, he does. Hmm. Through Jesus. Because hmm. I pray for death, 15, hmm. me 16. Do James not, 1, 16. Do not err, my, my beloved brethren. Don't, 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 <laughs> don't make no mistake now, don't, don't, don't be hey. Amen, my brother James, hey. <laughs> my brother, go ahead, 17. 17, every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, and every what, good gift, every good gift, perfect, complete, mm -hmm. that's right, go ahead, it coming down from uh, the father uh -huh. of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Amen. Go ahead. Of his own will, I'm sorry, of his own will begat he us with the word of truth, that we should be a kind of first fruit of his creatures. We will be, should be, mm -hmm. should be. Amen. That's a good word. Mm -hmm. A kind of what? First fruits. First fruit. Of his creature. Of his uh, Creatures. Mm -hmm. Amen. In other words, we are the children of God. Amen. 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 He begot. Amen. In other words, we've become, we have been adopted. He is with he says, or the word of truth wow. that we should be a kind of fruit. The first word of his creation. Amen. Of of his cre and those good things come from above. What come from above? Good gift. Every good gift. Perfect, Perfect gift. Perfect gift. Is from above. It comes from above. Mm -hmm. Amen. We thank God in this lesson. Give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Tonight, we thank God having this opportunity to bring, amen, this expository, amen, the Bible expository book from the Union um, Press. Amen. From the Union Gospel Press. Mm -hmm. Amen. For this quarter and for this upcoming lesson, I'm going to do my best. Amen. To put these on YouTube. Amen. The week, a couple of days leading to that on Wednesday night. Mm -hmm. Bible study as we look at some of these verses of scripture. And hopefully it will bless those who are preparing for the lesson for this coming um, Sunday. Amen. For this, Amen. for whatever lesson is coming up for that particular week, for that Sunday. Um, another good scripture is Revelations. Mm -hmm. um, Revelations. Mm -hmm. 2, 8 through 11. We got time. Let's just read that before we uh, dismiss. 2, 8 through 11. And, uh, oh, you want to wait till you get there? 
All right, go ahead. And unto the angel of the church in mm -hmm. Smyrna write, These things saith the first and the last which was dead and is alive. Mm -hmm. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, and mm -hmm. I know the blasphemy of them that with, um, them that them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Isn't that something? Who's going to do that? Satan. Yeah, he's going to tempt you. He's going to tempt you. Amen. That's right. But he said he's going to give you what? A crown oh, of life. Praise That's the Lord. the blessing. Amen. Amen. In the midst of the trial. Yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Finish. Read it. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. The second death. Mm -hmm. What do we mean by the second death? That second death is deep. Amen. This, this death, second death. Who's going to experience second death? That second death, we're talking is about. It, is it the Christian? Oh, no, no, no. It's those that are lost. Those, those that, are, that lost. are lost. Eternally lost. Amen. Amen. These are those that refuse to accept Christ Jesus. That died out of Christ. Amen. Amen. That's the second death. He died once, he's going to die again. Yeah. And that's for eternal. Lord. Amen. Fire. Yep. Brimstone. We don't have to worry about the second death. Thank the Lord. Glory to God. Oof. We died once. Hmm. Amen. Don't have to die again. Amen. And we're going to have a resurrection day. Praise the Lord. They're going to have a resurrection too. Hmm. But that is of the second yeah. death. Amen. That we don't have to experience that. Praise the Lord. So we are blessed. Yes, we are. In the midst of problem. In the midst of trial. Come on in the now. midst of tribulation. Oh, Amen. You, you, people think, well, I got you. They said, no weapon formed oh, against me shall prosper. Yeah, in the midst Lord. of my problems, in the midst of my situation, I'm blessed. Yes, Lord. Amen. When we wake up, we are already blessed. Hey, yes, Lord. Hey, glory hey, to God. Lord. You don't get nothing else in your bank account where you're already oh, blessed. Yes, Lord. People say, well, you know, I'm looking for a blessed. You're already blessed. <laughs> Amen. Knowing that you got a crown of life. Waiting on you in spite of what you're going through. If you hold on to God, I'm changing it. Hey, yes, Lord. Because I'm already blessed. Thank you, Lord. Yes, we when do. I look back over my life and Ooh. look what God has brought me, Lord Jesus. <laughs> my Lord. He's been good. Oh, yes, he has. I'm not going to let incidents and things that occur, things that, you know, out of where people look at me and say, Pastor, I, I, how did, I mean, this seems like things don't shake you that easy or this is no, it hurts. Things hurt. Yes, it does. But I've learned how to trust in the Lord. <laughs> Amen. I learned how to depend on Him. Yeah, yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Depend on His name. Thank you, Lord. And on His word. Hmm. Because in His word, I know that it, 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 it endures me. It, it holds me. It gives me patience. Mm -hmm. but every round, every time you go through something, it's like lifting weights. And I'm going to end it. Mm -hmm. It's like lifting weights. Mm -hmm. You always start out with lightweight, you don't have heavyweight. I mean, a lift, a, a weight lifter, do not just go in on bench pressing three or four hundred. Mm -mm. You start out with 50 pounds. Come on. Just do as many as you can. Mm -hmm. Then you work your way up to 100 pounds. Come on now. Then you work your way up to, before you know it, you get to 300. And that's how it is. Every trial, they're going to go through this. I experienced this one time. I got through it. I'm stronger yeah. this time. I experienced that. That time, I'm, I'm stronger this time. You don't go back from, from here to get weak again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're supposed to show growth. Amen. And that's what God is telling us today. Praise the Give Lord. Give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Thank God once again. We'll see you on next, on next week. We thank God for what our hearts and our minds have heard and seen.